Lawrence of Arabia, the most romantic British figure of our times, came safely through the perils of his famous desert campaign to meet death in a motor smash. During the war, he organized and led the Arabs of the desert in their revolt against the Turks, whom the British forces were fighting in Palestine. As an archaeologist in the Near East, this young Oxford Don had become familiar with the language, life and character of the nomad tribes. When the Arab revolt began, Lawrence was sent to act as a link with these highly irregular allies. On their fast camels, the desert raiders were a dangerous threat to the Turkish line of communications. And under Lawrence's daring leadership, they constantly attacked and disorganized the enemy. The Arab commander, the Emir Faisal, son of the Sheriff of Mecca, gave Lawrence his entire confidence. In this, the only cinema film ever taken showing Lawrence at the front, we see him barefooted and wearing Arab robes. He stands with hands clasped on the Emir's left, interpreting a conversation with a British officer who also wears an Arab headdress. This revolt in the desert reached its climax in the capture of Damascus. It had been Lawrence's great ambition to set up an Arab empire under his friend Faisal. The refusal of the Allied governments to carry out this plan greatly embittered him. After serving in the Royal Air Force under the name of Shaw, he retired to this little cottage lost amid the Devonshire moors. Here is Pat Knowles, his Batman and only companion there. The same simplicity as marked the character of Lawrence in life was observed at his funeral. There was hardly anything to distinguish it from the burial of the humblest of his village neighbours. In this little country church of Morton, the service was held. A few of the distinguished people in public life who knew and admired Lawrence followed him to his grave. We see Mr and Mrs Winston Churchill and Lord Lloyd. Lawrence will be remembered as one of those brilliant but eccentric personalities who have so often served the British Empire well. His deeds were done amid the wastes of desert sand, but he sleeps in English earth.